back if you're joining me for another video. If you're joining me for the first time, hello! I have a video I've been promising for a while. It's finally here. You might have seen on my Instagram that I have been picking up AliExpress Blythe dolls. Now they are called Blythe dolls, but they are not authentic Blythe dolls. Whether you call them factory, icy, or whatever, you can only really can refer to them as fakes or clones. There is a rumor that has been going around for years upon years, but it is known in the BJD area that someone made this rumor a long time ago. It might have been true for one or two dolls, honestly, but um, that there were parts of Blythe dolls being stolen out of the authentic factories and put together as Frankenstein dolls. This is not the case for AliExpress Blythe dolls. They are fake. If you go to any of the sellers, they have thousands upon thousands of them for sale. They are fake dolls, clones, or whatever you want to call them to. I know that some people prefer, these are all Icy Blythe, so I'm just going to put these are the Icy Blythe molds. Um, whether you want to refer to them as fakes or clones, I don't like associating the Blythe name with them, but that is what they are copied after, so that is what I'm going to refer to them as. Let's get on with the purpose of this video, which is to show on AliExpress the different types of Ice Blythe dolls available and the figure amount you're going to pay for them. I've also purchased, um, so I've purchased a lot of different sort of Blythe, Icy Blythe dolls in here for you to make a decision on what you want. I have also purchased some outfits from AliExpress and their outfits are really really good. There is no hating on their outfits. They are very very good. Um, I've tried on a couple of them, not all of them. I haven't tried on this one so I'm just going to try them all on and give them a go. I have also purchased little Blythe doll shoes. At least they're marketed towards Blythe dolls so we're going to try those on and see how they go. And I have purchased stands which are done in the <laughs> with the Blythe logo on them, <laughs> but again, they aren't authentic stands. So we're going to try it all out. I'm going to let you know what price it is, uh, what price each thing it is, and then it's up to you as a consumer whether you want to buy them or not. Personally, I think they are very, very good copies. Let's get on to the first one. Okay, so I have the first one I purchased here. She was $44 New Zealand. Um, They've packaged them very, very well in that they have these little protective face plates on, so the eyelashes and the eye mechanism is protected. They also have this little band around the hair. And then out by the neck here, what I assume happens is they have the body assembled and put into this bag, and there is a hole at the bottom of the bag, and then they attach the head. So I'm, I can only assume that the head mechanism isn't very elaborate then. It's just kind of like a plug that it gets pushed on. But to get her free, you have to break this bag to make the hole bigger to pull her body through it. Now, there are different types of face plates. This one has a shiny. I much prefer the matte. But again, we'll talk through all these things as we go. Here she is up close. You can see that her head plate has a shine to it in the light. I'm not a big fan of the shiny head plates, but however, I needed this doll as Astra and I are doing a custom for the School for Good and Evil, and this is going to be Agatha. The body is a mat. It has many points of articulation. Of course, the head can move from side to side. The shoulder arm can move up, forward, and back. You then have rotation in the upper arm. And you can see these joints are nowhere near the quality that you would expect from the real deal. <laughs> we have elbow movement. So the elbow is up and down. And then we have wrist rotation, but we cannot rot rotate, uh, move her wrist forward and back, just around and around. And on top of that, all of the dolls come with an additional hands emote set. So you can get ones that, you know, thumbs up. One's doing the hang loose do um, sign. There's one that looks like it's gripping something. So maybe a holding one. So a whole bag of hand emotes to customize your doll. And then to keep with the 
style of this doll we can change her head now I found on these ones that some of the eye rotations can be a little weird um, some of them are perfect you can pull it and it changes straight away and some you've got to give a real good yank to so I'm just gonna try on her I don't think she is too bad you can hear it click there so she started off with brilliant blue eyes I think and then we go we have some brown eyes here looking off to the side to the right And then we have a pink eyes looking forward. That one's actually really sinister. I'm not a fan of the pink eyes. And then we have some green eyes looking off to the left. So for me, Agatha has short brown hair. She's very pale. She's unsure of herself and she has green eyes. So this will be Agatha for us. So Moving down to the articulation in the waist here, she can rotate her waist, she has a little butt there. You have your hip movement here, so the leg can just go forward and back. Your rotation is further down on the thigh, and then you have your knee movement. Again, if you want to rotate her, you have to move her from the upper thigh. And then finally, she has a little foot rotation. Not much, it's just a tiny bit you can rotate the foot. But um, yeah, not very much. So they are, the Icy Blythes are really nice clones. Like there is nothing wrong with her for $44. $40 New Zealand is about, you know, a Playline Barbie with a couple of accessories, basically, box. Or you can get something like this, which is actually probably a better buy at the moment. Um, the customization that's available and the articulation and just the range. So on this one, you'll see her face. She just has a standard red lip smile. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, so we're going to take off her face plate, her hair protector and her little bag. You can just rip into it and get her out. There we go. So for those who know the school for good and evil, you might have guessed this is our Sophie who we're going to customize up. So cute. Actually, I think it's Sophie that has green eyes and Agatha has brown eyes. Either way, that option is there in the, the thing. This one you will see comes with hair. And let me tell you, these dolls for $44 dolls, this one cost me $44 as well, they are rooted so well on their wig. Um, I think you can remove the whole head, it's kind of a head mechanism, yeah, up here. You remove the whole head, the head up here, so it's like on a, like a scalp, if that makes sense, rather than a wig. They are so incredibly well rooted. You can just see I'm pulling it in this hair there's just hair everywhere, really. So if you want a different colored hair, they come in short and long sizes. And if you want to stylize it, get one of the longer ones and go with it. Um, you can always make it shorter or... You can always make hair shorter on a doll, but not necessarily longer. <laughs> so this one has a matte face. Let's bring her up. So you will see that she does not catch the light like the other face mold does she has the same sort of painted face with the red lips very basic and the same body so we won't go into the body too much let's test her eye mechanism I find ones with longer hair more frustrating because it's just hair everywhere <laughs> so she has a bit more of a squeak on her eye mechanism but easy enough I didn't show on the previous doll, but there is the option of giving them earrings already drilled into the ear. And there is the option of buying them elf ears or bigger ears, you know, all sorts of little options there for the ears. So you can give them earrings. You can remove the face plate completely and customize it. I mean, these are just really, really good options, um, especially if you're learning to customize. Um, you don't want to go buy an official fly Blythe doll in, in my country's conversion pay about $300 for a very decent one and then stuff it up <laughs> much better to get the $44 range so that was just showing the matte version in a standard icy doll face for AliExpress 
All right, before I get into the face modifications and another option of body type, I did want to show that there are skin tones, uh, different skin tones available. The very dark skin tone is actually very disappointing for me in that it only comes with the gloss face. I don't like the gloss faces on dolls. I really don't on any of them. Um, any doll really. I always think it makes the doll look fake and like a fake porcelain doll. Even most porcelain dolls don't have that shimmer to them. But this is the darkest skin doll of the IC type that I could find that had a matte face. She was purchased for me and it cost them $36. Let's open her up. So it's interesting that she was actually cheaper than the other dolls. Sometimes on AliExpress it really just depends which sales going on on the day. Um, it is a case of, you know, just keeping your eyes open. I would never ever recommend buying without the sales going. They have sales going all the time. You can see that she is one of the dolls I'm talking about. Just has hair for Africa. A lot of them have a fringe. I'm hoping they have brought, yeah, I did buy some. I did buy one without a fringe, so you can see it without a fringe. Um, but a lot of the Icy Blyce do have a fringe to them. So I love this darker skin tone. There is a darker skin tone again, but it comes, as I said, with the shiny face. And I hate that. I've seen the darker skin tone one. And when you take pictures of it, especially if you have any sort of lighting in the room or you need to use a flash to bring a bit of oomph to the picture, her skin tone just like catches it and brings it out and it looks really, really silly. So um, this is the one that I found, as I said, with the darker skin tone for a matte face. Let's bring her up. And you will see that the entire body is in a matte in that tone to match. She is very, very lovely. We're actually going to do her as a little forest person. We're going to put her in a little mushroom outfit. It's going to be very, very cute. The mushroom hat on top. Let's try her eye mechanism. Hear that spring. <laughs> so very easy on this one. So the mechanism is quite good. It's just... A very tragic sound, isn't it? it? Sounds like it's going to break any second. But that is the darker skinned Blythe available. Okay, body or face plates? No, I'm going to try the face modifications first. We're going to bring up this one here. This one was purchased for me to look at, and she was one of the more expensive ones because she has a face modification on her. She was $69, and I've just got the prices of what um, was paid, of what they're listed at, etc. I did not purchase these ones, and <laughs> I love the face mod. I really, really love the face modification ones. Okay, pull that down off her. Um, I think all the rest, no, actually one more I have to bring up has a a shiny face, the gloss face. She has a matte face, but the first thing you'll notice is her mouth. So let's bring up a standard mouth to look at. She will bring up the one in the matte because I don't like the way the gloss ones shine. So the standard mouth is just a couple of lips pursed together. Not really in a smile, in a semi-smile I'd call it, but this little girl, she's had a great day. Her mouth is open. She has teeth, a lovely row of teeth showing. She has long straight hair. The other two have curly wavy hair. Look at this. It is so good. And I'm actually, some of it's coming out, but I was actually expecting bigger chunks to come out to be quite honest. So it's, she's well rooted. Let's check her eye mechanism together and see how she goes. I really, really love this face plane. So um, looking at the other one, which, you know, you know, you pay around about the $40 range for the standard ones. Um, as I said, $44 and then $36. You pay another, what is it, $35 for the face modification ones. I don't like the pink eyes on these ones, I don't. And you can change the eyes. I'm gonna do that in a video to show how you can customize your eyes, um, 
how you open her up basically and pull her apart and put her back together as a faker. And again, if you do customize them on a fake doll, just be honest if once you've done them, when you pass them on, don't pass them off as real life dolls because people in the know really <laughs> will immediately notice it. And it's not fool. It's not funny to fool someone who isn't doesn't know any better. But isn't she gorgeous? I love that face. She's so cheery just looking off to the side. She honestly looks like she's had a happy day and she's come home and she's just smiling for her mummy saying, Mummy, I had the most awesome day ever. I love, love, love this one. She is one of my favorites out of the lot. Another one that was purchased for me um, in the same lot is this little one here who has also had the modification. Now, it looks like she's got a smile, but there is a slight difference to that smile. See if you can notice it when I bring her up close. And she has gorgeous, gorgeous, candy-licious hair in a aqua, pink, and yellow. Let's get her bag off and her faceplate. So they're really well packaged. I love that they've gone the extra mile. And as I said, they may be fakes, they may be copies, whatever you want to refer to them as, but they are very 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 good fakes and very very good copies so again her hair just before we bring her up look at this in the yellow and the pink and the aqua in a wave again just so incredibly thick if you wanted to shorten it down you know you've got a lot of hair there to play with she has a fringe before we bring her up let's check her eye mechanism Oh yeah, that's one of the better ones. That's a nice strong eye mechanism. All right, bringing her up. Can you see the difference? She's missing teeth. <laughs> so this little lovely has a full set of teeth. This little lovely is missing her eye, eye teeth, I think it's called, the side ones, eye teeth, someone will be able to correct me, and a lot along her bottom row. And you can see the little tongue in there as well, which is just incredibly gorgeous. So again, she was on the $69 range because she is a modified IC and she is just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. We are going to customize her, get out the good old spray paint machine <laughs> and we're going to turn her into a little candy girl. Something very, I guess, um, you know, uh, kind of like Katy Perry in that video. Is it California Girls or something? <laughs> something along those lines. Can't say I watched Katy Perry. I'm a bit too old for that when she came out. A bit too old for that, really. But something along those lines. Okay, then on to the next face modified one is this one here. Again, I did not purchase these for myself, but they were purchased by different people. Um, just... Some lovely people who love to see me do things, <laughs> love to see me happy. <laughs> so, you know, best friend was one of them. Oh, he was always getting me dolls because he's awesome. Um, this one is missing the fringe, which is really good, as well as the face modification. I'm going to check her eyes before we look at the other parts of her. Yeah, nice bounce in that one. Very good. So first we'll focus on this area here. You'll see she is the only one I have that doesn't come with a fringe. Now I think most of them come with a fringe because it does hide this line up here. One of the reasons I can't stand the Diva Star dolls is because they always look like they've had a lobotomy to me because of the seam line across their forehead. I, I hate that in a doll. Um, I like nice hidden seam lines. It's another reason that when I'm getting um, two smart dolls, two smart dolls, I've opted for the vinyl rather than the other type body because the um, the harder plastic body, which I recommend for beginners, has seam lines down the legs, and I don't like that at all. Okay, now you have probably noticed that she has an open mouth with two front teeth. So we have the one with. Teeth missing here, my gosh, can I hold them all? And the full, <laughs> the full mouth teeth one here. I'm just gonna check her price now to see what they paid. Uh, I think my best friend brought me this one. Ah, now she, 
has the face modification, but she was only, oh, she was $38.40 US, as my mate is for, is in the US, so he paid US. So I have a conversion, of course, always down the bottom. But um, she is cheaper than the other two modified dolls. And just look at this hair. Luscious. I love long hair on dolls. Um, I only have, only two of them have short hair. And I always think, you know, if you're unsure, buy a long haired doll. Because you can always give it a cut. But don't let a child cut it. Because children always cut. <coughs> like she's unfortunately had an accident. <laughs> You know, let an adult with a steady hand cut it or take it into your hairdresser. I actually know some um, doll collectors who have taken their dolls into the hairdresser to get them done. You'll get nice sharp scissors and someone with a keen eye. Isn't she beautiful? And then the next one my best friend purchased for me is this one here, who is one of my favorite of the lot. This one was $38.40 US as well. She has a slight, slight difference in her face from the standard. I'll bring up the standard doll so you can see it. Um, if I can get her out. This one seems to be really stuck in there. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Come out, my darling. Come out. Be free. Alrighty, yes, there you are. This one I call the pouty girl. But check out this hair. I'm going to turn her around first. She does have a fringe. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at that rainbow hair. Let's get you out of your bag too, honey. I'm, nobody wants to hear a rustly bag. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> so at the back, you can see there is pink and there is yellow. But as you move it, you'll see there are streaks of blue and purple in the middle and a darker pink. Another Candylicious girl, just absolutely lovely. I fell in love with her. Um, most of these other ones came in group lots. And by group lots, I mean that the auction, you clicked on the, say, Icy Blythe lip modification, and there was a range of options, like 10 different girls to pick from. She was on her standalone own auction. I did not see her on any of the group modifications. Her lip is turning downwards as if, unlike the cherry dude, sh dude, I should say, she hasn't had the best day. She is contemplating life. I, I get that from her. Let's have a look at her zip. I'm just showing that, you know, even though these are fakes and copies, these are actually have all been so far. Murphy's Law, please don't enact yourself now that I've said that. <laughs> Rather thing. Now, this is not the thing messing up. I can't get past her all her hair. There we go. She actually had grey eyes rather than green eyes, I think that was. I'm looking from the side, so it's hard, but she's beautiful. She is beautiful and like the cherry girl. So, looking at the standard face, what I would call the standard normal Icy Blythe. Gosh, all their hairs are going to get intertwined. <laughs> if you look here, you can see this one is the slight smile, and this is the one which I see the most of. Um, and comes in big group plots where you can just ch basically you're ch picking your whether you want gloss, matte, and um, what color hair you want. Her modification isn't, her lip is turned painted so it looks like it's going further down. The upper lip is more strong, stronger. I really, really like this girl. I really, really like this girl. Okay, so this little girl I wasn't purchasing. However, when I, I was talking to someone on Instagram, they mentioned that they're quite keen on this body mold. Um, and I thought, you know what? Why don't I purchase one and they can see it and make the call for themselves. So this is referred to as a chubby bike. She is very much the same face design as the standard I see body hair with articulation. I there is there are ones without so much articulation, but I don't know why you wouldn't pay the extra for the 
extra movement. Um, so she is ba your basic five points of articulation. She can move her head from side to side. She can move her arm down and back, but not off to the side. There are issues with this body type, which I'll get into. And she can move her leg up back and forward, but not off to the side. So she is very restricted. And you will notice that my darling has a tum tum. She is more <laughs> she's a bit more like mum mum. This is mum mum when she was a teenager and about 54 kgs and looking very slim and pretty. This is this is mum now. She I've had um, given birth to three children and <laughs> now when I eat cakes they don't disappear into the nothing list like they did when I was a teenager. Now when I eat cakes they add to hair. <laughs> And also looking at her chest together with this one, her boobs are a lot more. She's got a more, she's chubby in the body and she has a bigger chest area. So the one thing that I want to immediately point out with this doll before we have a closer look is around the neck area. Because I noticed it straight away. You will see that the mold along the shoulder is slightly open, meaning that the plug with the head area for some reason is pushing the mold open on that side not on this side but on this side and the head to me if I was to move it too fast feels like it would crack down there so this is what I would say would be a not a play doll this would be a display doll if you want this mold because even underneath her head there is a slight opening there. You can feel it when you're moving it, that it's not happy, that there's something almost like this body was made for a different doll rather than the Icy Blythe head. And they've just said, hey, let's just stick these two together because we've got extra of these. <laughs> it doesn't feel like they were actually made together. And it does, it does feel as I'm moving it that she is going to break. So she is cute as a display doll though, and it is nice having the extra body tone. I would just love them to fix this area here. I know it is a copy doll and it is a cheap doll. Um, for her, she was, I think she was a bit more. Uh, let me have a look. She, I actually purchased, so let's go to my account. Yes, she was $54 New Zealand for her. Um, and you are going to need different clothes for her than the standard Blythe clothes. Let's check her. Oh, oh God, that head just pulling back there. <laughs> she looked like she was like, oh my God, what are you doing to me? <laughs> yeah, if you're doing her eye mechanism, I highly advise supporting that neck movement. I just felt like the whole doll was just like giving back <laughs> when I pulled on it. <laughs> so, Again, this is one of these dolls. It, she looks awesome, looks absolutely awesome, but I would say this is a doll that you really don't want to move around too much around the neck area unless you want a lopped off head and the body is gloss. So as well as getting the extra sets of hands that I showed before, when you purchase them, you do get a little pink outfit which looks like some Barbie-ish black shoes, a boob tube and a skirt. I'm going to try one of these right now on my doll just to see how it fits. Okay so I've picked putting it on my little pouty candy-licious girl. Um, <laughs> would I recommend this outfit if you're buying it and thinking oh well she comes with a free outfit I can display her? Not really, because it is rather see-through. Let's bring it up and have a look. So this to me is some young woman's lingerie where it is a little bit flirty and a little bit translucent <laughs> around the top area. And the skirt too, even though the skirt has an extra layer and they do fit very well. The elastic is made for this body. It, really is it pulls in nicely at the um the middle section mid section here but again it is so translucent that you can see basically her inner thigh area and crotch area here the shoes do fit well 
I wouldn't rave about them. They're just plastic shoes. I would much rather have material shoes or something a bit more, you know, a bit more cute. But um, yeah, the outfit fits. But um, yeah, I'd highly recommend buying an outfit or sewing your own, expecting to sew your own if you buy one of these Icy Blythes from AliExpress. All right, so I purchased an outfit myself for Agatha from the School for Good and Evil. She has to have a pink dress, um, much to her dismay. <laughs> so I found this one here. It was $24 New Zealand. I liked the look of it in the auction. Um, it comes with the dress and shoe and the socks, so very, very basic for $24. But, you know, you do pay a lot for doll clothes, which is why I always get so excited when I find a lot for cheap second hand. Let's open it up and try it on. Okay, here is Agatha, very much looking like Agatha. She's hiding part of her face behind her hair here. <laughs> if you know the story, you'll know what I'm talking about. She has no confidence in herself whatsoever, looking off to the side and trying to hide herself because she is in a pink dress and completely out of her comfort zone. The dress itself, um, for $24, I do like it. First, I'll say I like it. My biggest complaint, however, is if you put it to the side, you might notice it. The Velcro opening is to the front, which was weird, which was very weird. I think they've done it as you have to, because you can't put the dress over her head, you have to slip the doll in, and thus you have to remove her hands, which are spread out, which is, is okay. There's a few dolls that have that sort of... Um, uh, thing you've got to do with them. You've got to remove off the pointy bits basically to get capsule chicks as one if you want to get the fabric things and you have to remove the hands um, It just doesn't make it so attractive when you're looking from the side Yes, it's me being incredibly fussy, but I would much prefer to have the seam hidden at the back along with the seam at the back so it's all one way down they've obviously done it for the reason that as you're wiggling it up her body is quite it's pointy at the front and it's curvy at the back <laughs> area and you have to kind of wiggle her in there and it, it's much easier for the seamstress rather than contour here and here um, to just basically put the velcro to the fat the front so it does make around her hip area baggy as well since they have not given her the contours for her chest area that's okay I really really like it and it does have these two socks so to go with it because every lovely little school girl with a lovely pink school dress needs some pink shoes these pink shoes cost me $3.80 with free shipping so I'm really hoping they're good because $3.80 with free shipping if they're good I'm gonna get a few more of these I can't make shoes like this for three dollars of basically in time <laughs> it'll take me a good couple of hours to make these shoes and to be honest i don't want to if i could pay three dollars and get them so these little shoes are like slip-ons with a little belted area at the top here i'm going to try them on here are her shoes on um they are long in the strap so I'm gonna have to trim off the strap a bit but they do fit nice and for $3.80 yeah they go perfectly with the dress they're gorgeous I'm just gonna trim off the straps I think she looks really cute Agatha's looking gorgeous <laughs> I absolutely love the shoes I think the shoes were actually a better value buy than the dress I think the dress should have been more around the $15 range rather than the $20 and rather in the 20s but overall I'm happy so this one fits well now on to the creme de la creme dress this dress and shoes were purchased for me by my best friend because he didn't like that he had brought me a doll and it was going to be nude <laughs> so after much arguing I gave in and just brought a dress because he said he was just going to pick out one then and just send it my way and I wouldn't have a say and yeah, I'm not going to say that my friend doesn't have um, any knowledge in women's fashion sense, but I'm pretty sure I probably would have ended up with something like this. <laughs> Rather than this. So, this is a beautiful yellow dress, and this one cost $14 US. I'll have the conversion down there for my down under folks. 
Um, yeah, it's a lot more detailed than the pink dress that I brought. And I have had a look at it outside of the packet and it looks amazing. I can't wait to try this on. Getting this on now. Oh my goodness gracious me, it is so cute. Now normally I would not pick orange haired tolls for yellow dresses, but this just works so well. That's me, I put it to forward rather than back because I really want to show those little bells on it. How cute is she? Now this dress did it right. Rather than have the Velcro at the front and you're having to take off the hands and fight with it, trying to wiggle it all the way up her body, they have done the large seam line, huge big hole here at the back. She slips straight in. You go, your hands can go straight through the dress. This dress is far superior made. This one was done by a different company. I'll put the company's name at the bottom there. But um, yeah, this dress is amazing looking. It has little ears. It has this beautiful dress. I'll bring it up close. And then I, I did have to buy the little $3.80 shoes on top of that. But honestly, I, I mean, I didn't purchase this dress. Someone else, <laughs> my best friend, <laughs> purchased it for me. But um, it also came with these balloons, which are really weird. I don't like the balloons. Um, yeah, I don't like the balloons, so I'm just going to forget about those. Let's have a look up close. So she has these little cat ears with white ribbons and then bells. And then the dress itself is done with a lace overlay. It is a, not a mustard, but a dark yellow with white spots with lace on the side. Look at all these little lace tears, just gorgeous. And then the same up here with a little yellow ribbon that matches the color of the dress and a little pearl stuck on there. And then it goes perfectly with these little $3.80 shoes. The socks came with the dress as well. That is a super duper cute set. And that set there. My daughter came in while, just after I'd finished dressing her up. And Astra came in and said, Mum, that's a really cute doll. And I said, I know. Isn't she gorgeous? She looks happy. She looks pretty. I know she's a fake. I know that fakes and copies make some people very angry. But you can't disagree that this is a lovely, lovely doll for a lot less than you would buy an official Blythe. Now, the last outfit I want to try is the outfit, the dress I got free with the chubby Blythe. Because I'm actually curious if it's A, going to fit her and B, what they sent. Um, they obviously could not send this small see-through free piece which came with all the other Blythes. Oh yeah, so it is a wider dress with two little shoulder straps. I'm going to get her dressed up and see if it works. Okay, it's not the most attractive dress. It's very, very basic. There was no fuss getting it on her. They have made a big enough, wide enough allowance so that, you know, because you don't have the elbow articulation like you do with the other Blythes to move them in and out to get them in and out of the sleeves of the dress. Um, it was wide enough to go over the two arms. Um, it's just very basic. It's cute. It's got a cute design on. I'll bring it up. My only problem is that it sprays out from her tummy <laughs> like this. Oh my goodness. There could be something a tiny bit more flattering that pulls in her tummy and makes her, shows her curves, but doesn't make her look like, you know, the side of a mountain, basically like a couple of skiers going, wee <laughs> down the side of a mountain. And she does look cute though. I'll bring her up. So here is the pattern on the free dress. It's very Alice in Wonderland tealish. We've got the tea mouse. We've got the Cheshire cat. Little perfume bottle, I'm guessing, for the eat me or drink me. Some teacups. Of course, some cards. Yeah, so it's very, very cute. But it is a free dress, so you can't complain too much as long as it fits. So the last thing I'd like to try is the doll stand that AliExpress makes for the Blythe Icy Dolls. Um, very reminiscent of the real deal from memory, or am I remembering the Pulip ones? My Pulips are just in the other room. I don't want to get her out of, well, 
hers. I should there's there's more than one out of the cabinet though. But um yeah, it's very basic, you can see it basically <laughs> there's not much thought involved. It does have a very naughty and sneaky blithe. Is that spelt right? It looks like it's B L Y T H S. That might be something they've done just to be a bit sneaky on copyrights and stuff like this. It's obviously from afar, it looks like Blythe, but when you look at the E, it definitely is an S. <laughs> so I want to see if it holds the dolls fine. It's obviously a waist grab. I'm going to put this sweetheart on it because this is the one my daughter wants first. Gonna put it around her waist. Can it support her? They are top heavy dolls. Oops, I just kicked her shoe off. I'm sorry, sweetheart. That was my bad, not yours. I'll kick your shoe off. I'll just slip your foot back in there once we come off. Just with time. Why is she kicking? She's kicking backwards all the time. Oh no, there we go. Alright. I want it so her face is in the upright position. Not that she's searching for pennies on the ground, which happens with not good dolls displays. No, she's searching for pennies. Can you get your joints to sit right in here, my dear? There is no adjust in them, basically, where it grabs. So there's no way of moving that middle rod up or down or in or out to grab her better. Nah, I would say give the stands a miss and go for a doll stand. Um, it because there's no grab in her waist, she basically starts looking for pennies when you stand her up. Her joints push her forward. She is top heavy. And then when I put her back this way, she her joints start bending. Did I finally get it? Yeah, it was a bit of a wiggle. But um, yeah, I, I'm not too fussed on the stands. I'm glad I only got two of those. <laughs> <laughs> better to get you know a proper doll stand that supports her waist and goes up I'd say under her armpits rather than around her waist so it actually holds her in the upright position so there is none of this wiggle jiggle sort of business going on with her joints because the joints aren't stiff the joints aren't loose they're just kind of medium in the range but that is the Blythe doll stand. Let me get the girls together and we'll have a look. Alright, so I've got all eight dolls here. You'll notice that I've put the four dolls with the standard face at the top and then the four dolls with the modified face at the bottom. I like these dolls. I do. I'm not a fan of fake dolls. I'm not a fan of copy dolls, but um, I'm a realist. They're here to stay. <laughs> <laughs> people can say, well, if people stop buying them, they'll stop making them. Um, but that let's be realistic here. It's not going to happen. They're, they're well ingrained into the system, basically. And, you know, as I said, for customizers, if you're learning to customize, this is a much cheaper way to go. Or if you are someone who wants to purchase for a child, you don't want to spend the expense, then this is another way to go. I'm also going to bring this up in my next video, which is with the Volks Hatsumi Miko Faker um, I've purchased. And I'll also have my official Hatsumi Miko here, if I can find her in storage. <laughs> so you can see the differences for yourself. Um, the fake one being brought for my daughter. Of course, I don't want to buy her a $1,200 doll. If I can buy her one that's good enough for $200. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I got my RSI, my arthritic glove on the moment. <laughs> my wrist is giving me a little bit of pain, but that's okay. And, you know, let me which doll know which doll you preferred out of the lot. Would you like to see more dolls from AliExpress? Which ones would you like to see? There are so many BJD copies out there with AliExpress. This one, I am going to purchase some more of these Blythe copies, and I will have a video where I have an official Blythe and show her next to one of these dolls. Look for that in the future. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry for the long, long video, but we got through a bunch of stuff. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.